Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm installing a special timing cover on a uh, 5.0 uh, Merc Cruiser engine. And uh, I call it Merc Cruiser, but I use that term loosely. So this is basically a General Motors small block, uh, 5.0 small block. And this particular block is a pre-1995 block. It was not the uh, Vortex style block. And because of that, it doesn't have the proper flanges uh, or proper surface for uh for the vortex the plastic vortex timing covers the uh vortex timing covers have a much wider have much wider flanges here and here here uh basically everywhere for the plastic cover to seal properly there's a rubber uh, rubber seal that kind of weaves on the inside of each one of these bolt holes and when you put the plastic timing cover over on this style block it doesn't quite seal and it leaves a gap between the timing cover and the air so it doesn't seal properly um, the previous builder of this engine used the plastic cover on this engine and just left the, and they just dumped a bunch of silicone on there to try to plug up the holes. But I found oil was kind of seeping out of it. And uh, not only that, if you, if your engine gets slightly submerged in your bilge, water will pour in your engine too. So, um, in order to resolve this issue, um, the customer didn't want to, um, we kind of discovered this late. So we'd already had the block machined and everything. So it was too late to abandon the block and get a different block. So uh, what we decided to do was try to find another timing cover that would fit. And what we found was a solution called, uh, it's from a company called EFI Connection. Let's see if it's on the box. Um, I don't see a name on the box, but uh, the company's called uh, uh, EFI Connection LLC in, out of Erie, Pennsylvania. And the part number is 120-00033. And you might say, well, okay, why do I need the plastic Vortec cover? Why don't I use the metal, the standard metal cover that fits the uh, 1995 and earlier engines? Well, the reason is this has multi-port fuel injection. And it uses the, uh, the it uses a crankshaft position sensor for that. So you've got to have this hole right here for a crankshaft position sensor on your timing cover. And, uh, and so this is the timing cover. And it's basically plastic. Uh, it's made in China. But what's special about it is it has this metal plate right here. You can see the metal plate under my thumb there. And that metal plate is, is machined especially to widen up the, it basically gives the, the timing cover a surface to seal against. So if you see, there's a seal underneath there. And uh, this timing cover does not look the same as the Vortec uh, covers. It's a slightly different. So I'm guessing this company had these, these actually, these are plastic covers made in China. Um, they look very similar to other manufacturers, so I'm assuming that it's uh, from the same manufacturer. But um, So my battery's getting weak, and I'm going to have to wrap this up. But anyway, it's a plastic cover made by EFI Connection, and it's what gives you a, a, a Vortec cover to fit the older style block so you can use fuel injection with a crankshaft position sensor. So I'm about to install it and uh, see how it goes. One thing I almost forgot, um, when you have fuel injection, you must have this crank trigger and it's a, the V8 has these four poles on it and it just slides on in front of the timing gear and then your uh, home rate balancer goes on after that. But you cannot forget this this device or else you're, uh, you won't have the trigger for your fuel injection. All right, installing this uh, special timing cover from EFI connection with the uh, crankshaft position sensor hole for an older nine vortex block, I've come across a uh, I guess what I'd consider a problem. Um, the block normally would have dowels that would line up with uh, that hole right there and that hole right there. But this block doesn't have the dowels because it had the uh, the Vortec timing cover has uh, plastic pins that stick into the block. So this block doesn't have dowels. And I don't have any dowels. So um, I don't have any other blocks around here with dowels. So. In order to try to get this uh, timing cover concentric with the seal, I just kind of had to eyeball it. And uh, so what I did was I uh, tried to get the gap going around the seal the same by using my, just eyeballing the gap and uh, pushing on the timing cover with my hand and then tightening down the bolts. Um, I've got this, uh, I've talked about this in another video. This is a, a crankshaft uh, turning tool. It's a tool to use, they use to put on the nose of a crank. Uh, it works with all small blocks. It also happens to work with Mercruiser 3.0. I'll cover it in another video. 
but um, I also I use it as a, uh, a device to help me get the uh, this front seals concentric on timing covers so that's what I'm doing here and uh, this device is on there pretty solid and the seal like I say I just made the seal, tried to make the seal the, the gap equal all the way around and uh, using my eyes just eyeballing this thing and uh, so it's tightened down now and I hope it works so that's about the best I can do without the dials and um, so um, timing covers now installed and then I'm going to work on the oil pan.